Duncan causing a crash that killed a man and seriously injured his grandson made his first court appearance this morning. David Hoddy faces motor vehicle homicide charges for the crash at 36th and L that left 60-year-old Carl Goff dead. Hoddy is not getting out of jail anytime soon. Reporter Shante Passmore has reaction. Jackie Goff says she didn't know how to feel when she saw David Hadi face to face at the Douglas County Jail. You know, I thought I would be mad when I saw him. I, I was just numb. I just couldn't feel anything. But I know the other family members were anger, angered, you know, just looking at him. But then Goff felt relieved when a judge set Hadi's bond at half a million dollars. We're very pleased with the bond. That he won't be going anywhere. Sunday's deadly crash has left two families heartbroken. Hadi's wife publicly apologized to the Goff family, as seen here in an interview Tuesday with KMTV. She asked to remain anonymous. Been praying for David. I've been praying for that guy, his family, too. Goff says she had hoped Hadi's wife would have shown up to court today so she could tell her they're not mad at her, despite her efforts to stop her husband from driving drunk. We know her apology is sincere. Her apology was really sincere. We don't blame her. After court, I paid a visit to Hadi's home. She declined to do an on-camera interview. However, she says she wanted to go to court because she hasn't spoken to her husband since the crash. She broke down when she learned of the bail amount, saying there was no way her family could get him out. Goff says her heart aches for Hadi's family. I feel bad for them, too. They're victims. He ruined their lives, too. Shante Passmore, KMTV, Action 3 News. Relatives and friends have set up a memorial fund in the name of Carl Goff. Contributions can be made at any Security National Bank location.